Alrighty guys, what's going on? Linky here, and in today's video we are going to be discussing Pokemon Scarlet and Violet's battle system. There is a lot of interesting questions to be made of what the battle system is going to look like in this game with a post-Legends Arceus world. So with that being said, let's jump right into things. Now there are a lot of videos on YouTube right now going over a lot of the speculation from what we saw in the trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, going over the starters, the potential region and that probably being Spain, the open world, the character designs, all of that. If it's too soon, I'm going to get to a lot of those topics in the next coming weeks, so if you guys are still interested in them by then, I hope you tune in. But today, I wanted to talk about a piece of Scarlet and Violet that I think is even more interesting than the rest of those, and that's the battle system. We saw a little bit of Pokemon battles in Scarlet and Violet, and there's a couple things that they are taking from Legends Arceus that's interesting to me. The first thing that we saw was a battle between a Hisuian Zoroark and I believe a Lucario, and in that battle it looked like it was taking place in the overworld just like it was in Legends Arceus. This means that there's probably going to be a seamless transition between you, the player character, exploring the open world of Scarlet and Violet, and then the transition into battle with wild Pokemon or with trainers. Of course, we also saw plenty of uh, pieces from the game where wild Pokemon were out roaming the world, just like we've seen in more recent Pokemon games, so that is going to remain. So it makes sense that if these two games were developed alongside each other, that some of these features would be similar. I would probably posit that Legends Arceus was put out to get us used to this new system of Pokemon, and Scarlet and Violet are going to continually add and improve upon this system that we saw in Legends. And I think part of that is going to be the battle system. This is going to be a mix between traditional Pokemon battles and Legends Arceus battles. Now, it needs to be said that Legends Arceus battles weren't super different from basic Pokemon battles. You still had four attacks, it was still turn-based, but they did a couple things which made it different. For example, the order of when a Pokemon attacks changed. You could alter the battle order depending on if you went to Agile style or Strong style, and that would also impact the effectiveness of the move. If I had to be a betting man, I don't think this style mechanic is going to make its way into Scarlet and Violet. I think we're going to go back to the traditional style of battles but it's gonna be with a twist of changing turns and this seamless transition. There's also a couple ancillary things that I think are also going to remain in Scarlet and Violet. A lot of people called them quality of life improvements and I'm inclined to agree. This was the ability to change moves at will whenever you wanted. You didn't need to go to a move deleter or a move reminder. You could change the moves from a selected list of moves your Pokemon had gained the ability to use and you could cycle through them. This is kind of like a traditional RPG held item equipping system, even though Pokemon already has held items, although Legends Arceus didn't. Scarlet and Violet is going to go back to that held item system, I am confident. I also am not sure how they're going to pull it off yet, but I would be willing to bet that we're going to get the move change or the order of turn change from Legends in Scarlet and Violet. I don't know how you're going to use this mechanic, maybe it has to do with the differential of the two Pokemon's speed stats or something like that, but I think there's going to be a bit of RNG in there, and you're going to be able to get off multiple attacks, maybe at random, maybe it's something you can control, but I think it was a nice change of pace for Pokemon battles, and it made boss battles and trainer battles, even though they were rare in Legends, it made them more interesting, and it made them harder. When you're just predicting one attack after another and looking at, okay, my Pokemon is faster than the opponent's, I'm going to go first, I can get a one-hit kill, etc., etc., it becomes very predictable, and I don't think battles are as exciting. With that being said, I think Scarlet and Violet are also going to have multiplayer battles. This is going to be the new generation. There's going to be online battles. It's going to be where VGC moves, all of the above. It's going to be where double battles and triple battles and single battles, all of that is going to be housed. So I think the turn switching is probably going to be something that's toggleable or saved only for the main game. Something that can be toggled like Megas or something like that in the past. Now, before we go any further, I just wanted to mention that the vast majority of you guys who are watching these videos aren't subscribed to the channel. Now, of course, subscribing is free and you can unsubscribe anytime. And if you do subscribe, be sure to turn that notification bell on so you never miss another upload. Now, people who know me well know that I'm not a big competitive battler. It's not the part of Pokemon that I enjoy the most. It's not the part that I really take part in. I don't know a ton about how the competitive scene works or what the meta is right now. 
a lot of my interpretations of this battle system and of what the future of this battle system is going to be is from a single player story experience, the ability to, to battle with your friends through Wi-Fi or through local connection, those types of things. I'm not, I'm not really looking at it from a VGC perspective. So a lot of the changes that I think would be good, someone who plays competitive might not, and that's perfectly fine. I understand that that's a bit of a boundary here. But for the story, I think something like keeping the ability to alter turn changes, like we saw in Legends, not through Agile and Strong, because I wasn't the biggest fan of the Agile and Strong style. Additionally, we are going to get a new gimmick in these games. The Japanese logos for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet have this little star looking icon and it's usually it's in the same spot where usually the little logo for teasing the gimmick is. It existed with Mega Evolution. It existed with Z moves. It existed with Dynamaxing. There's going to be some sort of gimmick and the gimmicks almost always impact battles. So Oh, they always impact battles, not just almost always. So there's going to be a change there. And that's not something that I'm able to predict right now, but it's going to also change battles as well. Ultimately, this comes down to the battle system is going to be different from Sword and Shield in this game. And it's going to be different from Legends Arceus, but it's going to take heavy inspiration from both. I think EVs and IVs and all of those things are probably going to be back because they're mainstays of the Pokemon franchise. There is a group of fans who don't like them and would like to see them done away with. I could take it or leave it. They don't affect me. Natures, things like that. That's all going to be here, but it's going to be that seamless transition. It's going to be that changing of battle order and some other things like your ability to move around the battle screen that are going to change the, the presentation of battles for mainline Pokemon for the first time, taking inspiration from Legends, moving a little bit away from Sword and Shield, but bringing back that multiplayer component. We don't know a ton I'm glad we got a screenshot because it at least confirms that the general setup of battles is going to remain the same with a new generation and with a with a brand new coat of paint that an open world Pokemon game, a fully open world Pokemon game presents. There's a lot of different ways the Game Freak could choose to go about this. And I'm glad as a Pokemon fan that enjoys the traditional formula quite a bit more than probably most Nintendo fans or people who are overly critical of the series, I'm glad that they're trying to have it both ways. I'm glad that they're trying to adapt some of the more traditional things and also give it a bit of a modern tinge. I think that's the best way to do it. I think it's going to work out well, and I'm hopeful that we don't have to wait until August of this year or even September to see more information on these games. If you guys remember, when uh, when BDSP and Legends was coming out last year, we got the first announcement in February. We didn't get released. The first bit of information we really got was release date confirmation, and that came in June or the end of May. And then we didn't get a real blowout trailer and then a second trailer for Legends and BDSP until August. It was a malaise for months. It really, if you're going to be critical of the Pokemon company in a marketing sense, it really hurt the buildup for BDSP. I know that a lot of people will say BDSP hurt its own buildup, but they could have done more to hype it up is essentially my point. Now, there isn't a ton to talk about with battles, but I wanted to get this video out because I want to start a dialogue down in the comments. What do you want to see changed with battles, if anything? Do you want to see an all new system? Do you want to see a mix between old and new? Do you want them to just completely adopt the legend system? Let me know down in the comments. I would love to hear what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more Pokemon Scarlet and Violet content moving forward, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you never miss another upload. With that being said, I've been Linky and we'll see you all in the next one. Peace out.